Hi, welcome to Think Human. I'm Chris, and in this video, I want to talk about why Jupiter is amazing and how come Jupiter is kind of like a solar system within a solar system. So, first of all, Jupiter is absolutely massive with the mass of more than 300 times the mass of our own planet Earth. And inside of Jupiter, in the volume of Jupiter, we could fit more than 1,300 planet Earths. So, that is truly a gigantic planet which is mostly made of gas. And the strange thing about Jupiter is that it doesn't actually have any solid surface. If you were to fall down from the atmosphere of Jupiter, you would see weird things. You would see rain of liquid helium and neon, and it's also speculated that Jupiter's atmosphere might have rain of actual diamonds. So you keep falling and falling and there is no actual ground to fall on. What happens is that everything around you just gets denser and denser. There is no place, no certain spot where it becomes solid ground to stand on. Only in the really, really center of Jupiter, there is a small rocky core. Well, relatively small. Uh, around that there is metallic hydrogen. This is hydrogen that is compressed so densely together that it behaves in a weird kind of way and becomes metallic hydrogen with strange electrical and magnetic properties. So another really fascinating fact about Jupiter is that on its surface there is a storm called the Great Red Spot, I'm sure you heard about it, uh, which has been going on for hundreds of years and has winds of hundreds of miles per hour. And this, this storm, this enormous storm, is more massive than our own, own entire planet. So imagine a storm that is bigger than our entire planet. That is crazy. Also talking about storms, when we look at the surface of Jupiter, we see bands of dark and light, and these bands are actually weather systems that are going against each other. And they're going at speeds near 100 meters per second, which is absolutely insane. Our atmosphere on planet Earth reaches out to about 500 kilometers. The atmosphere of Jupiter reaches out 10 times that, to 5,000 kilometers. So there is enormous volume inside Jupiter for stuff and things to happen. And this is the reason why there are so high winds uh, and these incredibly crazy storm systems can happen. This great red spot that I spoke about this is actually losing size but how do we know this planet is incredibly crazy and, and we might have another storm coming up somewhere so now to the reason why Jupiter could be called a miniature solar system and the reason is that Jupiter has 79 satellites, most of which are small, smaller than 10 kilometers, but it has an enormous system of bodies orbiting around it and four biggest ones are about the same size as our own moon and this is Io, Ganymede, Europa and Callisto and, and uh, two of those, Europa and Ganymede, these are believed to have actually liquid water underneath them. Europa, for example, has this enormous crust of ice hundreds of kilometers thick or a hundred kilometers thick and essentially underneath there, there is more water than all the water combined on Earth put together. And how it happens, I mean, Jupiter is so far away from the sun, like how can it have water underneath all that ice? The reason is that as these moons orbit Jupiter, Jupiter having this massive mass and gravity around it, as these moons circle around Jupiter, they get squished and pulled, and this produces immense amounts of heat, heat enough to keep the center of the planets warm and have liquid water on there. And now we're wondering, if on these oceans that have been there for billions of years, a long amount of time, same amount of time that our own pla planet Earth has been, like, what are the chances? Maybe there's an opportunity if that water has just been there forever, basically, if there could be some kind of life. We have plans now to go there, to drill through the ice and look beneath there what's actually in that ocean, that enormous ocean. Maybe we see something swimming around there and how strange would that be? So these are just some uh, interesting facts and ideas about Jupiter. It's a fascinating planet and, and interesting to think our own solar system has so many places and all these places are just as real as the place where we are at now. These are places you could, you could fly in or stand on, well not in the case of Jupiter, stand on, but actual real places that exist and it's just weird to think about that, you know, that's the reality. Um, so I hope you got some interesting thoughts from this. If you have any ideas, please share them in the comments. And of course, thank you so much for watching and take care.